In today's segment, we explore the whimsical world of the Hundred Acre Wood, brought to life in A.A. A. Nunn's beloved children's classic, Winnie the Pooh. Written in the 1920s, this book has transcended generations, providing readers with tales of friendship, adventure, and innocence. Winnie the Pooh introduces us to a delightful bear named Pooh and his varied group of animal friends. The stories in this collection center around Pooh's daily adventures and the challenges he and his friends face. Set against the backdrop of the idyllic Hundred Acre Wood, the narrative weaves tales that are both heartwarming and humorous. Our tale commences with Winnie the Pooh, a bear of little brain but a vast heart, as he embarks on a mission to find honey. Climbing a tree proves fruitless, and so does a cunning plan where he uses a balloon to float up to a bee's nest. With every endeavor, Pooh's naivety and love for honey lead him to a variety of predicaments, but he always emerges unscathed, mostly thanks to the help of his devoted friends. Christopher Robin, a young boy and the only human in the Hundred Acre Wood, is Pooh's closest companion. Along with Christopher, Pooh's circle includes Piglet, a timid and nervous pig, Eeyore, a gloomy yet endearing donkey, Tigger, an exuberant and bouncy tiger, Owl, the self-proclaimed wise old bird, Rabbit, the meticulous and sometimes bossy friend, Kanda, a caring motherly kangaroo, and her young son, Roo. Throughout the chapters, the narrative dances through various adventures and misadventures. Piglet faces his fears during a flood and finds courage he never knew he had. Eeyore misplaces his tail, prompting a search amongst the friends. Tigger arrives at the forest and his overly enthusiastic nature often leads to chaos, especially when he mistakenly believes he can fly. Amidst these escapades, Pooh writes poetry and even gets himself stuck in Rabbit's doorway due to his insatiable appetite for honey. An episode of particular note is when Rabbit devises a plan to unbounce Tigger, which inadvertently leads to Tigger and Roo getting lost in the mist. However, it's during these trying times that the essence of friendship shines through. Regardless of their differences, the inhabitants of the Hundred Acre Wood always rally around to support and rescue one another. Throughout these tales, the narrative brilliantly encapsulates childhood wonders, highlighting moments of joy, fear, anticipation, and more. Each story is self-contained, yet they're interwoven with the recurring themes of camaraderie, exploration, and the natural curiosity that comes with youth. A. A. Nolan masterfully captures the essence of childhood in Winnie the Pooh. The Hundred Acre Wood becomes a microcosm of the world, where every character represents different facets of human emotions and behaviors. Pooh's innocence and simplicity, Piglet's anxiety, Eeyore's bouts of melancholy, Tigger's zest for life, and Owl's pseudo-intellectualism, all converge to present a spectrum of human nature. The simplicity of the plot contrasts with the depth of understanding it offers about human nature and relationships. It underscores the idea that even in an uncomplicated world, complex emotions and situations arise. The narrative is as much about the external adventures as it is about the internal journeys of its characters. While it's easy to dismiss Winnie the Pooh as merely a children's book, it offers profound insights to readers of all ages. Its brilliance lies in its ability to relay life lessons without being overt or didactic. Themes of friendship, courage, patience, and understanding are gently folded into the tales. In conclusion, Winnie the Pooh by A. A. Nolan isn't just a book. It's an experience, a dip into the pool of childhood memories, and a gentle reminder of the enduring nature of true friendship. Whether you're revisiting the Hundred Acre Wood or discovering it for the first time, the tales of Pooh and his friends resonate with timeless relevance. If you found this summary enlightening and wish to be updated with more such analyses and summaries, kindly subscribe to the channel. Your support drives us to continue presenting such literary treasures to our audience. Until next time, may your adventures be sweet as honey.